Hello. We are cleaning my shit pit. This is a pit of shit. And yeah, the pit is quite shitty. <laughs> I don't know how it happens. It just happens. My room's a fucking mess. I feel like it's all a bit shit, you know? I feel like I'm trying to grow and mature. And you know, I've done my room in a way where it's just quite young and um, I'm kind of over it. I'm not going to redecorate. <laughs> I'm not going to do any of that because I'm not going to be here for a long time. So I'm just going to do what I can right now. Honestly, I'll tidy my room and then like the next day it's fucked again. Like I'll get clean washing come i'll put it on my bed as it is right now <laughs> and and then it'll just be there for the next few days i'll just be transferring it from my bed to my chair it's just not how i want to live anymore i just don't have enough storage space okay that's the problem i have more clothes than i have storage and it is annoying but you know when i have my home i'm gonna have like good wardrobe space you know like the dream is to have like a bedroom which is actually a closet right and all the walls are for wardrobes but until that point we've got to sort this shit out right now we love yeah let me show you what we're working with right <laughs> I think we should put our clothes away. I think that should be the first thing. All right, first of all, get the dressing gown out of the way because that, oh, on the floor, perfect. Okay, oh my God. All right, I wore this today. So I'm gonna put that in the wash and that too. Short. Sure. so what I like to do, yeah, is I like to fold everything and put them in specific piles either closest to the space they're going to go in or just piles that match the piles, you know what I mean? So shorts, gym shorts go in this drawer over here. So what I will do is put them closest over there. Um, uh, okay, t-shirt, <laughs> brain fart. T-shirt that my cousin from Australia gave me. I needed a t-shirt to wear, so she gave it to me. And so now I have something of hers, which is really cute. Another t-shirt. This has smelled like bleach for so long because I put some bleach, a little bit of bleach in the wash with the white clothes but apparently I put too much in because the clothes fucking stank like bleach for so long afterwards, it was fucked. Oh, I got this dress from the charity shop recently. Oh my God, it looks so good on. So it's incredible. It's brand new with tags still on it. Well, I don't know if it's brand new, but it still had tags on it from Zara. And I bought it for a tenner. Hey, it's just a lovely dress, lovely dress. I'm so glad I bought it. It's quite, it made me feel quite, um, What's the word? Mature. And I wore it with boots that I've never worn, but I bought three years ago. <laughs> I don't know why I'm even folding this, because I will hang this, but I just do a rough fold. They put it down. Oh, it's got fucking tree bits on it. If I were a rock, you'd pick me up and say, look at that rock. Skip a year, start a lake. Where's it? It's got little stains on it. Oh! You know what? I feel like I just need a whole new wardrobe. I need a bigger wardrobe. I don't need to get rid of clothes. I just need a bigger wardrobe. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I love these trousers. I love them. Why am I folding them? I roll my trousers now. I roll them. Perfect. We love, we love an iPhone storage full moment. I am actually sick of this. Going from, I think I've spoken about this so many fucking times on this channel, but going from an Android to an iPhone is not the vibe. Um, I need to find a good Android with a good front camera. That's my problem, you see. If you have any recommendations for Androids that have a good front camera, similar to an iPhone, please let me know. Because that was my big problem. 
was the camera. I had the Huawei P30 Pro, and you know what, it's a great fucking phone. But the front camera just was awful. Awful. If you've got any recommendations, please help a girl out. I'd appreciate it very much. If I were a rock, you'd pick me up and say, look at that rock, skippy yes, don't lay. You know what? I blame TikTok for showing me so much content on ADHD because I never thought I had ADHD before. And I'm not saying that I think I have it now, but you know, like these, there are these TikToks and it's like saying this symptom, this trait or whatever. And I'm like, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I think like growing up, like, ADHD, I thought it as kids who were just super hyper hyperactive and naughty and blah blah blah. Obviously as I've grown older in recent years I've realised that that is not the case for everyone. Um, some people are just different. Um, and part of me is like, oh, should I do like a test to find out? But then the other part of me is like, what's the point? Because regardless, like... I'm not gonna like do anything about it. Like for me, I think, I don't think I do really. I just think that this is just how I am. Like I just, I have, um, I get, I can get distracted quite easily. Um, and the main thing is, is that I just like, I start one thing and then my brain is just like, gets distracted by that thing. So then I, then I'm doing that and then I'm doing something else and I just jump around from thing to thing and it, fucking does my head in to be honest like when it comes to like cleaning and stuff my fucking god I literally literally will fucking clean start cleaning one area and then I look over and then I'm like oh let me do that and then I and then I'm like should be finishing doing that so then I go back to that but then something else distracts me and then I'm doing that and it just drives me insane I have like so many unfinished projects but I don't I wouldn't say that that's I don't know, I, I recently came to find that that could be because of childhood trauma. Which if you didn't know, childhood trauma actually can like be a cause for so many things. So many things. So many things. Couldn't believe it when I found out that like, you know, loss of interest in things can be because of childhood trauma. Isn't that mad? Like I am so interested in so many things, right? It's always been like such a good thing but also such a bad thing because i'm so so interested in so many things that like i start i'm like yeah i get really excited about doing something and i'm like okay i'm gonna do this and i'm like very impulsive of it so it's like literally no joke like last year i was like right i really love like doing like carpentry type stuff right so i applied <laughs> to do carpentry at college last year and then literally after like two weeks I lost interest, completely, completely lost interest. And I can't even explain it because like I literally was so excited to do it, like I was fully in and then I lost interest. And that happens with so many things, if not everything. Like the only consistent thing in my life has been social media. And even that I'm not fucking consistent with, am I love? Look at this. <laughs> But it's the only, it's literally the only thing that's been this consistent. I mean, the thing that I've done for the most amount of years, like I've only ever had one job for 10 months. I've never had a job for longer than 10 months. <laughs> I've never even made it a year in a job. Um, I, Bro, honestly, I don't even know what to do with myself. Like seriously, it's actually, it's peak. It's like, I, you know, like I have this feeling. Oh my God, my cat always on my shit. <laughs> Why do my cat, why do cats just love sleeping on your clothes? Like, bro, get a grip. Fuck. <sighs> what was I saying? You see, look. <laughs> I'm gonna move your angle, because I just think that there's a bit of possibility for lighting, you know? Great. Um, what was I saying? It will come back to me in a minute. <laughs> oh yeah, loss of interest. What a great thing that is, hey? Um, yeah, I never understood it. 
it would literally drive me mad start so many things get so excited about it and then all of a sudden it's like someone's asking me a couple weeks later or a month later like oh what happened with that and i'm like oh yeah no that's gone a long time ago mate <laughs> long time ago that's gone um but that ain't right um i just need to i need to stick with something when i start it but i just like oh yeah literally just lose interest completely but it's even like I, i'm still interested in those things like i still love like the idea of carpentry and stuff but it's just like i just it's just, I just don't, do you know what I mean? Maybe it's just because these things are not the things that, a part of me is like, you know, maybe it's because deep down I know that it's not the thing that for me, that's going to be the thing, you know? Because I'm constantly in, in the, on the search for like the thing that's going to like bring me happiness and like fulfillment and it's the thing that I can do for the rest of my life. But like, you know, I understand that. I don't need to be looking for the thing that I'm going to do for the rest of my life, but you know, at least like the next five to ten years, love. Like, I need some consistency, I need some focus. Um, I guess I just find it really hard to focus. Um, but yeah, it's doing my fucking head in, to be honest. Um, and I need to be done with that. I'm over it. There's only like one thing that has like really stayed consistent in my mind that I want to do with my life, and that is to have my own coffee shops. Um, so it's like, you know, speaking with a friend, they're like, you need to just do whatever you can to reach that then. So just, you know, make money, do this, this to get to that point. And I'm like, yeah, I get that. But also like, I've got to make money in something that I enjoy, but they're like, just make money. And I'm like, I can't just go and find a job that's high paying, but I fucking hate my life doing it. I just can't do it. I literally can't bring myself to do it. So... It's a bit of a predicament really, isn't it, Lev? Oh, this is my new favourite skirt. It's like a sexy secretary skirt. It's just so simple. Got a little slit here. It's so simple, but so effective. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, so, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Just trying to figure it all out, you know? All I know in life is that I really want to do something that helps people. And, um... Something that makes me happy, really. Sorry. Yeah, it's a bit of a sticky one still. It's a bit sticky still. Oh, God, this is doing my head in. All right. I don't know if I can move to talk anymore. Let's just go. This period, I've been getting like um, something I never had before. It's not cramps, it's like spasms, muscle spasms in my left like ovary area. Like spasms, spasming. It's not hurting, it's just like spasming. Quite often as well, I've never had that before. Also I kept getting like this weird like pain, like you know when you get that pain in your chest where like if you breathe in it hurts. I've been getting something like that, not that when I breathe in it hurts, it's just like a weird, a sharp achy pain. I've never had that before either. Oh look, I'm spasming again. What is that about? It's really weird. Today, I'm gonna to do something really exciting for myself. I'm going to create an Excel spreadsheet which tracks my menstrual cycle. Um, I'm really excited to do it to be honest because I've been tracking my cycle now for a while and I actually use the Natural Cycles app. Um, I did partner with them like a year ago um, and then after that I got I really panicked and like I went back on contraception and I was on contraception for a few months and then I was honestly like no fuck this I can't do this anymore so then I came back off contraception and back on to natural cycles 
So, it's under my pillow right now. Every morning I take my temperature, although I'm not going to lie to you, I fell out of it in the past week because I went and stayed at someone's house and I forgot it. So I need to get two, I need to get another one to be honest. Um, but I knew that it was okay because um, I was PMSing um, with me before my period, like a, a week before my period, my boobs start to really hurt. So as soon as that happens, I'm like, okay, it's fine. Like I don't need to take my temperature right now um, because I know what my body is doing right now. And I know that in that time it would be safe for me to, you know, you know, <laughs> um, if you want to know more about natural cycles, please comment down below and I will happily talk about it. Um, but basically, yeah, I'm not on contraception and I will never go on contraception again. I track my cycle. Um, but yes, I'm going to be, because I track it in the Natural Cycles app, but I also write down my temperature every morning in my notes, just so I've got it somewhere else as well. But what I want to do is actually create like a spreadsheet. I want to create a spreadsheet, guys. <sighs> because I want to be able to see it all like in front of my very eyes. Do you know what I mean? Um, so basically what I will be writing in there is like my my temperature. Every day I'll be writing down my discharge, um, other symptoms, you know, the length of my cycle. Because my cycle, for the past however many months now, since coming off of contraception, has been like 32 to 33 days long. Which is kind of like, is long, um, but some people get it much longer. But it's just mad that like, you know, society, you know, only really says that us the cycle is like 28 days long, which is nuts because with that, they then assume that people ovulate around day 14, which is like halfway through your cycle if you're 28 days long. But obviously, if I'm ovul if I'm, my cycle is 33 days long, my ovulation is not gonna be there at 14. It's gonna be more like what, like 17 or something? Um, and that I have still not been able to really accurately figure out when I'm actually ovulating. So I need to just pay a lot closer attention to that. Um, because I really would like to actually properly know. There are other ways to figure it out as well. Like um, apparently you can like measure your cervix and see the angle it's at or whatever. I've, I'm not doing all that if I'm honest with you. But um, I did buy ovulation test strips. So... Yeah, it's just, yeah, do you know what I mean? Anyways, I'm chatting bare. You lots might not even give a fuck about this anyway, so I'm going to stop talking about this now. I'm almost done with this pit of shit. <laughs> no, of the clothes. Um, I'm losing interest, <laughs> as you can probably tell. My interest is seriously declining right now.
Skippy is on the leg. You know what is a real problem actually? My sock drawer. That needs help. That needs some serious TLC. Alright, I'm done. <laughs> I don't want to. Uh, I want to leave it. I want to run away. <laughs> I want to run away. Um, we've got some odd socks here because no doubt the others are in the drawer. Sock drawer, hey? Um, oh, wait, let me. This one. How dare I? Uh, bro, I can't be lost. Oh, stop spasming, will ya? Um. Can't bother with. I literally can't be fucking bothered. Let me fold this towel. Let's, let's procrastinate a little bit more. Piles sorted. T shirts. I just don't have enough space. Like, right, look at this. It's fucked. It's, it's fucked. It is fucked. I think I actually need to get rid of some stuff. I can't even lie to you. I need to get rid of some stuff. I need to reorganise all my drawers as well. But I really, really, really can't be fucked. Just, just get in there where we are. <laughs> just get in there. It's not going to work, is it, Lev? Oh, you know you want to. Come on. Come on. <laughs> it closed, did it? Hang on. No socks. <laughs> I need help. <laughs> I need help. Look, it's just fucked. Do I need to actually just properly organise this? I can't be bothered. I've got other things to do. Do you know what I mean? <sighs> I don't know why I picked you up. Come back. Get back over here. Whatever. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is going to be so annoying, I know. Wear a sock, <laughs> you'd pick me up and say, Look at that sock. Oh, bro, there's no space. <laughs> Help. Help. What's the next thing? Everything's fucked. <sighs> Just fuck off. Jesus, this. This one's even more fucked. This is my top drawer. I just can't. I just can't. You what? For now, we're just gonna plop it in. Just <laughs> forget about it. Senorita, we're done with that. Dresses, they've got to go in the wardrobe, didn't they, Lev? Didn't they, Lev? They do, yeah. Right, perfect. I can fucking crack that open. This dress, yeah, as a part of a Hall Halloween, it's part of a Christmas costume. I was going to be an elf, and then I was going to return it to the charity shop, and that was at Christmas. So you can see how my procrastination has levels. This was a whole six pound seventy. So I guess I'm, I'm gonna. I need to just take it out of my wardrobe now. I'm gonna sell that. Put it in the sale pile again. When did I take pictures of my clothes to sell? About a year ago. <laughs> Where are they? On top of my wardrobe in that bag. <laughs> Oh, tragedy, when you look so dry, you don't know why, tragedy. 
So what we're going to do here is we're going to double hang, aren't we, love? Brain function, brain. Perfect. Perfect. I just love this dress. I love it. I love it so much. I love it. I love it. I love it. You can't really fucking see much, can you, love? No. It's just no space. You know, you're just shoving shit in. Just shoving shit in. Alright. This fucking dress. Avoid, avoid, avoid. Okay. You just stand. Just look at the shit around you and think, why did I even start this? How did it get to this point? And you know, the joke is, I really, really want to start like a business not even a business, I wanted to do it for free. I wanted to start a thing where like I went and cleaned like people's depression pits and like tidied it. Cause I would, I literally would like almost organism at the fact of like doing it for someone else and tidying someone else's stuff. I love it, I love it. Like, I would love to go into a hoarder's home, clear and clean. I would, I literally would love to do that. But for my own stuff, I literally, <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Ooh, I don't know where to go. I'm thinking, shall I move you? Shall I put you over there? But that's just procrastinating even more, isn't it? You can stay over there, I guess. And I'll just work on this mess over here. Mess one. Mess two. Mess three. That section done. Gym stuff is at the bottom. Do you know how sad this is as well? Look at that. <laughs> this room is not working for me, guys. This drawer is also not working. It's only small and my gym collection is growing. But it's okay, we've only got two things to put in right now. That's fine. We'll just close the door on that. Perfect. And then this is fucked. This is fucked. This is completely fucked. You know what I want to do? I want to get a nice big set of drawers and I want to like <sighs> have like do you know those organising sections to put all my tights in and that my under hairs you don't need to see. <laughs> you don't need to see my under hair drawers do you? No you don't ha! my drawers my drawers for my drawers you don't need to see my drawers for my drawers this is more organised though I do have those like little dividers and I did try to do it divided by sexy underwear to casual but now it's all just fucked so we'll just put it all in shall we love yeah we'll just put it all in really just go all in do you know what I mean <laughs> 
Oh, look at that. I forgot to put my bras away. That has been annoying as well. God, I can't be fucked, man. Oh, no. I'm gonna... I'm gonna regret this. I'm gonna put my bras in my underwear drawer. I don't really do that. But I actually just really... Not today. Do you know what I mean? Let's just get everything clear. We can focus on organising another day, but for today, <laughs> we're tidying, you know, just to get everything away. And then until the next load of washing, and then back to square one. All right, what am I going to do with these? My new period pants. Am I going to put them in my period pant drawer right now? Probably not, because that's a fucking mess as well. So we'll just put these away. I should have probably taken a picture of these because that's what you're meant to do when you get sent stuff. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to do that right now, and I I'm wearing the other ones right now though. Fucking fucking life. Because I know that I'll just fucking forget. So here, let's make the bed look like this section is nice, hey? <laughs> there we go. There's one. There's two, and I'm wearing the third one. So sorry, Lev. Perfect. <laughs> Who else does this with the hay fever? Ugh. <laughs> oh. All right, I'm gonna put. Oh, I'm sorry. This drawer. I'm gonna put these drawers in this drawer for the time being right right i honestly i don't know what to do with, with this sometimes i have it on the back of there and sometimes i hang it up on this door sometimes i put it in the wardrobe but there's no point of putting it in it really is there because i know that i'm gonna need to get it out later right right now we're gonna empty the bin <laughs> or just put all the trash away uh, trash. Trash. I hope you can see how much I don't want to do this. But again, how long can we live like this? We can't, it's embarrassing. Like, if someone just, one of my mates just randomly turned up, I would feel embarrassed. Do you know what I mean? Well, goddamn, I think it is. I think that's out of the trash. All right. No, I need it as well. Uh, no. Okay, it's not all the trash. Is it? All right. I'm also gonna get rid of that. That was shit. Okay, and then the, the other problem, which I'm, I'm, I'm not doing today. Who's ringing my phone? Hello? Hi, I'm thinking of Who's calling? <laughs> so I just had a call and I don't normally answer like numbers I don't know because why I can't be asked. But you know like when they say, you know, hello, is this Jessica? And like back in the day I used to say, yeah, yeah, who is it? But now I'm like, I don't actually, I don't actually respond to that. I say, who's calling? Because <laughs> it's like, what? Like, you know what? <laughs> one time, 
And I was over in the student flat. I got done for fucking TV license. Even though it wasn't me who didn't who was using a TV, but I lived in a student flat, so there was many other people in there who could have been doing up criminal activities, but it wasn't me, but because I was the one that opened the door, I was the one that got penalised for it. Do you know how fucked that is? My guy read me my Miranda rights or whatever it's called. I was like, whoa, 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 what is going on here? I don't even have a TV, love. I don't even have a TV. I don't even bloody watch BBC. Um, but I got done for it. So since that day, I now don't say, yes, this is Jessica. This is her speaking. No, who are you calling my phone? But this time, it was a job that I'd applied for. <laughs> this drawer, right? Do you want to see it? Do you want, do, would you like to see the drawer? This drawer is absolutely a criminal. It's a criminal offensive side eye. I am criminally offensed by this. Um, so I'm not gonna organize this today. It's somewhat organized, but what I am gonna do is just put some stuff into the drawer. Because that's why, why I was saying at the beginning of this video, I plan to keep this side clear because all the things that would be on here I'm meant to go in this drawer so I can just, do you know what I mean? Oh, actually, I should have done that. Oh, that's fine. So for now, that's just gonna, no, it's not gonna close. Perfect. There's too much shit on my desk. I really don't like it. But what am I supposed to do? I just want some storage boxes that you can't see inside. So I've got all these things that's like wire open, mesh this, crate that. I'm over it. It looks messy. You know what? I was very much like, oh, I like the maximalist life. I like having things. But actually, I don't want none of this. I just want smart storage solutions. Is that, does that mean that I'm old? <laughs> does that mean that I am actually almost 30? That I'm saying all I want is smart storage solutions? <laughs> You know, like, I want things to not look like storage. Like, downstairs, like, I've got this really cool shoe cabinet. But it just looks like a nice little furniture thing, but it's shoe storage. If you've got a smart storage solutions company, hit me up. I actually think I want to cry. Look, I had all these on the floor. <laughs> What's in there? Oh, actually. Oh, that's a clean sock. I can put these in the wash, actually. All right. Okay, it's not so bad. Oh. Oh look, more stuff to put on the fucking side. This is my overnight bag, so actually I should sort this out. Fuck. Just when you thought you'd cleared the side. Anyone want some lashes? They scare me. I'll put these away. Oh, there's fuck off. Socks. More socks. More socks. Under here. Um, okay. So then what, what I do with this, I don't, I really, this again, I need some more smart storage solutions because what I do is right at the very bottom. Oh, what's that? Shorts. <laughs> what you would never know is down here in the jungle is indeed where I just shove my tote bags. <laughs> What's that? Oh, that was my gym bag today, actually. Can I just leave that there for now? I can do what I want, really, can't I? Um, but my main concern... No, I actually have so many concerns, so it's just a lie. I'm sick and tired of this shit. The other shit... I am going to put these bags in this box because I am sick and tired of it. I really am. Anything in there? No. This bag I've literally never worn. I don't know why I bought it. I've, I've never worn it. I don't know why I bought it. I'm sorry. So I should get rid of it then. Yeah, probably. What's in here? I have worn this. But only with select outfits. Oh, chewing gum. I don't really know what to wear this with. But it, it's really cute, but it's really annoying. It constantly slid off my shoulder. Is there money in there? 
Oh my god! I got two pounds sixty left. A bit of tissue. Perfect. Right. Plug adapter. Barcelona. Should I just put that back in there? I'll probably take this back to Barcelona next time, so. Alright. Bags are in here. I hear you say, well Jess, what if you want a bag? Oh, there's more bags there. Oh fuck's sake. Look, I've got more. Oh, there's underwear in there. <laughs> what? Don't even ask, mate. Don't even ask. Oh. Lip balm. Oh, a little bag my cousin from Australia gave me. How cute. Perfect. That doesn't really go with the whole thing of me wanting up there to be clear, but you can't have it all. Do you know what I mean? I'm sick and tired of this. I really appreciate it. My my cousin gave it to me, but it's getting on my nerves. It's probably dusty now, it's been up there. I'm gonna wash this. So then I don't have to think about where to put it right now because it can go in the wash basket. Ow. Sometimes I actually can't believe how much of an actual genius I am. Like, I don't know where to put this right now. So I'm gonna put it in the wash basket. And we can think about that next week. I'll leave that for future me to think about. Do you know what I mean? It's so much clearer. Do you know what I mean? It's fucking clear. It's clear as fucking day. No, that's not right. It's clear as fucking day. Oh my God, imagine if I sit up, like, you know people do like live streams of them sleeping in bed. I can't lay flat, I've got the clip in. Watch me sleep. Is that good? It's a bit weird actually, isn't it? It's it's quite a bit fucking weird. It's a bit fucking weird. If you wonder why I'm doing so many accents, and my Australian cousins were here, you know, who was busting out the old accents, yeah. They're both really good at um the Irish accent. They're very good at it. You know what? Everyone should sleep with the bonnet on, but this one has got shit. It got really loose and it just slips off my head or slips down my face. So you know what? I think I'm gonna bin it. I need to get a good bonnet. A good one. That's gonna stay on me fucking head. You gotta stay on me fucking head, like. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I can't even lie to you. I'm actually not gonna tell you the truth. I'm not gonna tell you when the last time I changed my sheets was. Because I'm not going to. <laughs> this is the longest, actually. It's been a bit. I wouldn't say it's been a bit rough mentally, but I've just not cared about things. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Update. Actually, I didn't even do it on here, did I? This mattress, this Emma mattress, I worked with Emma. Could you believe it? I worked with them. They sent me a mattress and they paid me. Incredible. It's only incredible because I already had an Emma mattress that I paid for with my own money. And I had it for two, two years. Just over two, about two, just over two years I had it. And it was really good. It was really, it was a really soft one, memory foam. But this one is a bit more solid. It's, it's more premium. And I'll tell you what, I bloody love it, mate. I bloody love it. I think it's great. It's really great. Here's a part of the rest of my Look at that. 
It's got a blood stain on it. <laughs> Awkward. Sorry, Emma, love. Sorry, darling. The only thing with this mattress is that it's really heavy. It's much heavier than than the the, the memory foam one. Like it's really nice and premium, but it fucking almost break me fucking back trying to fucking get it in. Ugh. Do you know what I mean? You know? I'm sorry if I'm in an annoying mood. Am I sorry? Not really, actually. I take that back. Oh my god, my back. <laughs> actually, I'm gonna do the other end first. Oh, and it's also just slightly bigger than a double. Which is great considering my sheets are a double. <laughs> Which also means that the um the sheet ends up sliding off. Which has always been a problem I've had. The bottom sheet always fucking comes off and it's so annoying. It comes off on one edge and it fucks me off. I can't breathe from out of breath. I'm actually out of breath. <laughs> fucking hell. This is actually a workout, isn't it? I'm out of breath long. Oh, chimney She says that you gotta stay in here. So you gotta listen. You gotta listen. You gotta listen. Listen to the rhythm, the music in your heart. The rhythm. Oh! Fucking, fucking hurting me, that. It's fucking hurting me, like. Put my thermometer back under my pillow. It's fucking hurting me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. My god. Oh my god. Oh, there's still so much to do. Do you know what I mean? 
I'm moving really exceptionally slow today, like a sloth. Oh my god, stop procrastinating. Do you see? Do you see that? <laughs> Just fucking finish the fucking job, Lee. I just does anyone like doing duvet? Does anyone like it? Hey, take the fuck not. I take the fuck not. Oh, I'm supposed to be doing something else. Oh my god, I'm fucking hungry. I forgot to have lunch. And a one, two. You know what the trick is? Stand on the bed so you've got some leverage. Just shake, shake, and let it fall down. A wise man once taught me that. That's actually very true. Has anyone seen the Bridgerton TikToks of Queen Charlotte? People will be doing a, they're like doing acting scenes as an, as Queen Charlotte or whatever, and they wear like um, they put a duvet round their waist. Is that the dress? Yeah. Anyway, shut. Up. Do you ever just like have to tell yourself to shut up because you're actually just ch chatting shit? Huh? Do you know what I mean? You're chatting shit. You're chatting absolute shite. Whatever, whenever we're meant to be together, I got you and you got me. And that's the truth, my dear. I'm always You got me and I got you, and that's the truth, my dear. I am like a bird, I want to fly away, I don't know where my home is. Can you, like right now, I see that I was singing a beautiful song, but I was thinking about something else. How is that possible? How is that possible? I don't know where my home is. It's like being on autopilot, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. I don't know where my home is. I don't know where my soul is. I'm baby, baby, I'm like a bird. I wanna fly away. I don't know where my home is. I don't know where my soul is Baby, baby I'm like a bird on a family Fun fact, I once spilled soy sauce on this sheet when I was having sushi These. You know what? I think I'm gonna wash these pillowcases. If they've not been washed in a while. I just love these pillows. Don't you love them? They're so nice. It's from Dunelm. They're so nice. They give me like just urban outfitters vibes to be honest. I really like it. Well, the urban outfit is still all its vibes from other places, so it's not really urban outfit, it's vibes, is it? Sorry. Because I was about to put these pillows on my bed, but I just realised that I should probably wash these too. And then there's this, this is the finishing touch.
little do donkey. Won't it? Yep, perfect. Perfection. You know what I really want to sort out? My desk and this section up here.
Okay, so you see how I've got that over there? I feel like if I actually move it over here, then the weight of this piece of furniture will go nicer with that being a weighty area and that being more open. Do you know what I mean? Let's see. want to get rid of that, I don't like it anymore, I'm over it. Maybe I can move it. Over there, let's see. There we go. You know what? I'm actually going to get rid of that, but I will go through it and organise whatever's in it and take it out. So for now, I'm not going to keep it at my fucking desk. I'm over this, I'm done with this for good. You can fuck off. Okay, but where to put the microphone? Do I just keep it for decoration? Maybe I should just put it up the right. I don't want it for decor. Cute and decorative. Decorative. Okay. What about me pensies?
I'm quite happy with that. Yeah. Tidy space, tidy mind. Isn't that what they say? Mm -hmm. Next up is this section. But in all honesty, I actually haven't done an ounce of like work today, so I need to do that. Although this technically classes is it, but I actually need to edit a reel and get it up tonight. So you'll just have to see this another time. I'm gonna do it without you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please don't be mad at me. I'm gonna do it without you, but it's gonna get done. And yeah, I've still got my dried flowers in this because I am planning on moving this year. So I thought it would just be for the best to leave it in that. Do you know what I mean? This has been an amazing clean with me video. If I do say so myself. Uh, Hope you enjoyed it, I hope you had a great time. I hope you cleared something, cleaned your room, cleaned something in the house. I hope you've done something for yourself. For your mind to feel a bit clearer and more organised. Do you know what I mean? I'm sick of that mirror as well. And I'm sick of that shit hanging up there. That's my fucking hair towel. I'm gonna, rest, put it. I'm gonna find somewhere else to put it. And I am going to also organise up there. Without you again. I'm sorry, it's gonna be without you. Okay. Right, well, thanks for being here. Much love. Peace.